Honorable Battle Brother. Did you hear the news? Indeed I did, Honorable Battle Brother. We have received a mission from Holy Terror itself. That is right, Honorable Battle Brother. It is our time once again to prove ourselves as Ultramarines. And with pride and honor, we shall succeed, and we will never fail our sacred duties. After all, the greatest of them all are the Ultramarines! Soon enough I should stop hearing their constant fucking chanting in my head. I've been hearing it for so long that I'm starting to feel like I have warp traveled on a fucking bicycle. I'm still not certain about this idea, my lord. Are you defying me? No, no, absolutely not. I was just thinking, since the Ultramarines are one of the greatest forces in the galaxy, are you 100% certain that sending them to their imminent doom on a planet of the sorceress is a good idea? Look, my child, I know you are fucking stupid, but I am your father, and you should never argue against your father, because he always knows best. Isn't that right? Of course! That's a good custodies. Your intelligence is growing remarkably fast, just like your father's. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Death. <laughs> no problem, son. Now, prepare your cleansing equipment. My eye lobes are itching like they are infected by a fucking Death Eater virus. Also, bring my Centurion. Right away! the most pressing matter to the survival of the Imperium of Man, such that we have never seen before. Should we outlaw the use of laxatives to everyone but us? Because my poo has been really hard and dusty lately. I am the law, and I think that not only should we outlaw laxatives, we should also get a new shipment of prune cakes. Cause that really helps out with how your bowels dance out poo! Uh. I disagree! My generals need to pull the several regular places to command those living flashlights of mine. And the work is the TJ factory's gonna do that too! Can't have my guys go into battle with their fucking skewers, can I? I think that this is a damn discussion for you. Types that are going to get your wrecked limbs replaced with the skulls. Alright, seriously, it isn't funny anymore. First, you make fun of my hat on a daily basis, and now you send this Emperor damned message throughout the entire Imperium. Why? Uh, can you quiet down, Tower Head? I can't hear you. We didn't, we didn't send anything, I think, did we? I don't know. Who am I again? I forgot. Well, if you didn't send the message, who did? Someone is obviously being very mean. Oh, stop your whining, Decius. Can't you see that we're having a very important discussion about who here? This must be the 20,000th time you've had that discussion. 2,374. Time to be exact. Ugh. Back in my day. People didn't count with numbers. Instead, we used good old-fashioned cultures to count. Well, well. Perhaps we should outlaw counting again? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the law! Well, I'm gonna go back to the Ecclesiarchal Palace and figure out which one of you prune heads ordered this message to be sent around. The Ecclesiarchy is not disbanding, and that's that. My lords. The Inquisitorial Representative has arrived. The Inquisitorial Representative? I hate that person. Ah, the Inquisition? Very well, what name does he go by? Lord Inquisitor Fyodor Karamazov, sir. What? Karamazov? I feel thoroughly refreshed now. Chain Halberts truly do wonders. My lord, I've been thinking a little. When Magnus tried to contact you, what did he try to tell you? Are you siding with Chaos now? No, 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 my lord. I'm just pondering here. 
but unthinking. Let's say that Magnus was actually trying to warn you about Horus' fall. Okay. If that was the case then, Magnus wouldn't have had to send his message to you if Horus hadn't fallen. Yes. And Horus wouldn't have fallen if the chaplain Erebus wouldn't have tempted him to join Chaos. Right. And Erebus wouldn't have kept turning Primarchs to the ways of Chaos unless he hadn't tempted Lord Arab to his side together with the word bearer's first company captain Corfero. Correct. So by that logic, wouldn't this all actually be Erebus and Corfero's fault? Now you are just talking out of your ass. As I said earlier, everything is Magnus's fault. Of course, my lord, you're right. I'm sorry. By the way, while you were sending that message to the Ultramarines, did you also tell them to cut Erleman's life support? <laughs> I'm sorry, my lord. I kind of forgot about that. Do that later, then you should boot. Speaking of which, I need you to explain something to me. What is it, my lord? Why are you the only one ever visiting me? <laughs> 